Good morning everyone, my name is Carla and you have reached my floss tube channel, Carla Being Crafty, where I talk about mostly cross stitch but sometimes other crafts that I enjoy and a little bit of life thrown in. Uh, today's floss tube number 212, it's Sunday, October 22nd. Um, I found my Hocus Pocus shirt, you guys. I don't know if any of you that have been with me uh, for a while, last year around this time, actually it was the last floss tube before Halloween. I wanted to wear this shirt. I got it specifically to wear and I had it set aside and then I couldn't find it when it came time to actually wear it on the floss tube before Halloween. Um, and then of course I found it like the next week. It was just, you know, in a pile of clean laundry or something and I just couldn't find it the day that I went to go wear it. So this year, I know like next week is actually the last, um, last two before Halloween but I saw the shirt I'm like I better wear it make sure because otherwise with my luck I would misplace it again and then I would be in the same situation so I am decided to wear it today uh, along with my little ghosty nails that I just did these are I think glow in the dark but I was trying to test it yesterday and I couldn't make them glow so that could be wrong maybe they don't glow in the dark but they're still pretty cute <laughs> um then, you know, next week, I don't know what I'll wear. Maybe I'll just wear my, my leopard print shirt and my cat ears so I can feel like I'm uh, giving a nod to the season. Um, so I always give, well, no, rewind. I didn't say welcome. Um, if this is your first time finding my channel, then uh, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you like what you see. Want to hit like, subscribe, all of the good floss tube stuff. Um, a, I also have a super things button down below so you can always use that it's not of course required but you know it's always very nice when somebody decides to give me a little bit of a monetary thanks um if this is not your first time finding my channel if you are one of my returning viewers thank you so much for being here uh week after week it means more to me than you can possibly know um it's one of the things that you know keeps me going um when things are tough at work or, you know, either stressful or boring or whatever, you know, um, I always have my floss tube to check in on and, and, uh, answer the messages and just see what's going on on the floss tubes. Um, so that just is so wonderful that I have that as part of my life. Um, I always give a Southern California weather report. Um, now just so you guys know, when I do this, like, upcoming weather report. I'm basically just looking on my iPhone and looking at the, what the weather, the temperatures are, are forecast for like the next 10 days. Um, so this morning it said that for the next 10 days, we're going to be in the mid seventies. Like it's not supposed to go higher than that. And in fact, towards the end of that 10 days at night, it's supposed to go actually into the forties. So, you know, that is definitely getting to crisp fall weather, which I'm very excited about if it's true but it seems like every time i check it it's like pops around like last week when i checked it we were supposed to go back into the 90s again this week it's not saying that now so <coughs> excuse me last week we had 90 degree temperatures i hated it as i always do um but hopefully not good going forward um we're gonna stick into the 70s and we will get that that cooler weather which means I can think about wearing sweaters and boots and long sleeves and things like that. Um, I definitely know that there is some kind of change in the air, uh, basically because two things. Uh, one, my allergies have been um, playing up. Um, you know, it's the kind of thing where I kind of have that like scratchy throat feeling like you feel like maybe you're getting sick, but you just never really get sick. And then I realized it's not me getting sick, it's just post nasal drip and allergies and sneezing and all the kind of stuff that you're getting from different pollens and different things in the air. Um, and then the other thing is, is I've been having quite a bit of back and hip and knee pain the last week or so. So I just think that there's a change in the barometric pressure or something. And um, it's you know, causing my body to be a little bit sore. So, you know, I'm taking it easy. I'm trying to, I'm trying to move because moving helps, but moving too much hurts. And you know, you know how it is. If you have the back problems, uh, if you have, you know, the growing older pains, 
you know, when they talk about growing pains, I mean, I know teens do get physical growing pains from their bones, like stretching and their muscles stretching and stuff like that. But man, growing older pains are horrible too. Um, just like, you know, it's like, do you ever not have something hurting? I mean, I don't think I'm going to be there ever again. Um, I've also noticed this week, which I think has changed the weather. I've had a little bit of a pain in some of my hand joints, which, um, I always work through. I don't, I try very hard not to let that kind of thing stop me from doing my crafting stuff. And I really do think that doing like crochet and doing cross stitch and doing stuff with the needles and stuff does help keep your hands, um, lubricated and it's better to use them even if it hurts a little bit. But, um, yeah, so I can tell that the weather is changing. Um, I hope so. I mean, as far as like overall, I feel much better when it's cooler. So, um, I guess I'll just work through the adjustment period when my body hurts. It hurts the other direction too. When it starts getting warmer, my body starts getting achy as well. So it's not just getting into colder weather. It's just, I think the change in pressures and stuff. So, um, but overall cooler weather is better for my overall health. So I'm happy about that. Um, Okay, a reminder, next week I am having a Zoom Stitchy Get Together on Sunday, so after the video, um, well, I don't know if it will be after the video, it depends on how how long it takes for the video to go up. It is That is like 100% a crapshoot, it's like sometimes I upload my video and it's like it's done in an hour, two hours, yay, and then sometimes it's like... I'm sitting there at seven, eight at night going, is this thing ever going to upload? So last week it went pretty quickly. The week before it was horrible. You know, I just, I don't know what to tell you guys about that. But um, anyway, next week at 3 p.m. Pacific time, um, I will be having a Stitchy Zoom get together. Um, all the information is in the description box below. I would love anybody who wants to join to join. And um, yeah, we'll just chit chat and stitch and have a good old time to celebrate the end of October. Uh, let's see. I don't really have a lot of like, you know, life stuff this week. I mean, work was busy, you know, um, just getting statements out and stuff. Cause you know, I work for financial planners. So every quarter we have a big, you know, statement project to do. So we were working on that a lot this week and you know, just typical, typical week. Um, normally I get to leave early on, Wednesdays is just something that has been in my schedule for a really long time. Actually, it started because I was taking my mom to a doctor's appointment every week and it just kind of stuck and it became part of my schedule where I leave instead of leaving at five, I leave at three on Wednesdays. This week, I didn't get to do that because um, the other girl in the office had to leave. She had a super busy week of stuff out having outside of the office. Um, and so she had to leave early a couple days. And so, of course, I stayed. Um, and I thought, oh, I'll go home early on Thursday. But then, you know, it's like, yeah, it's not my regular schedule anyway. Just, you know. So what I do now is Wednesday afternoon is my laundry day. That's when I do my my load of laundry for the week. Um, so I didn't do it out this week. Oh, well. Um, I did enough laundry the week before that it will carry me. Um, so, yeah. So I don't have a lot of, like, life stuff to tell you guys. Yesterday, I don't know if you can see my, my kitchen looks like crazy behind me. Um, I was doing some reorganizing yesterday and you know how it is when you're reorganizing, you have to kind of like make everything way horrible, or way more messy before you can get it all organized. So I'm kind of in that. It's not as bad as it was, but it's not where I want it to be yet stage. Um, although I do plan on trying to film finally my, my snack cake recipe, uh, this afternoon because I would actually like to eat that. Um, so if I can get it together, if my video uploads, all that stuff, then I will have um, a cooking recipe to film this afternoon. Speaking of, I did post a recipe last Wednesday um, of a pumpkin sausage pumpkin pasta, which actually turned out really good. Um, so if you're interested, go check that out. Um, for those of you who are afraid of the Instant Pot, my Instant Pot did have sort of a very um, extreme spitty, inc not incident, but I mean, it was very, um, it was very spitty when I, when I released the pressure. 
um, which doesn't usually happen. So I did some research on it and I found out what caused that and how to avoid it in the future. And I will address that in, in additional cooking videos, but rest assured it may have kind of made a mess, but it wasn't dangerous to me or anything like that. So, um, I keep trying to encourage you guys not to be so afraid of your instant pot, but you know, if you are any of the recipes I make, you can make on the stove or you can make in a crock pot or whatever. You just need to adjust. Um, and most of the stuff I do, as I've said, is not like, uh, very technical recipes or more sort of methods of throw this ingredient and that ingredient, and the other ingredient together. So you can kind of just make it your own. Okay, I think that that's it for the preamble and we can get into the stitching. This will probably be a shorter video again. I've been having slightly shorter videos the last several weeks. Um, probably because I just don't have as much like fun stuff to talk about. But that's, you know, enjoy the respite because I'm sure I'm going to get to the point where I'm back to chatting for an hour. So, um, especially when we get into videos later in the year. Um, we have all of the fun parades and stuff like that so parades and plans and you know all those all those fun extra videos so anyway uh, enjoy the the half hour 45 minute videos that may come for the next couple weeks um okay so i worked on six projects this week friday so weird like i said it was it was a busy week and i was really tired this week and I got home on Friday and normally I wouldn't do this. I would not let myself do this because of, you know, having to go to work the next day. I was tired Friday. I got home, I ate dinner and then I conked out and I took like basically a nap from like seven to 10 or 10 30 or something. And then I woke up and I'm like, well, you know, so then I, I didn't go to bed until like two in the morning because I had taken like a big early, early evening nap. It was very weird. Um, so I didn't really stitch on Friday, but I stitched, uh, pretty much every other night. Okay. So I worked on my tuxedo cat eyes, uh, one of the days this week, which is a heaven and earth, uh, quick stitch, uh, artwork by Carrie Hawks. This is an interesting, um, Sort of pattern because there is so much black and white in it um i didn't uh i basically just wanted to not have to think so much and i just basically did another you know started another diagonal and did mostly just a lot of back and forth with the white and then into the black although there's some confetti right in there so this one when i get into those big places where it's just like solid, you know, that part kind of moves quickly. And I'm doing this on, I think an 18 count. Um, I basically, even though recently I've been um, doing my quick stitch or my full coverages on higher count fabric, um, I chose this fabric so that it would be the same fabric size as uh, Lavender Roses because I feel they're the same artist, like they're the same feeling and so um, I kind of wanted them to match. So they're not exactly the same size but they're very close. Okay, I worked on my Sampler Osha this week, Sampler of Cats by Jardin Privé. And this I am doing on a 20 count Ada with sulky threads. I'm using a uh, variegated, which they call blendables for the main color. And then I have two uh, sort of coordinating um, accent colors. Um, the solid purple, which I'm using for all the cats. And then the solid rose color, which I'm uh, using for all of the little little motifs like the little hearts and the little fish and fish and birds and all that kind of stuff so um this week i finished i think that's all i did is the the y i finished the y and the z here i added a 23 for the year because I, have, I changed the wording here. This was just supposed to be an alphabet, and I 
she said, this is Cryla Loves Baggy 2020. That's when I started it. So, I did a little bit of work on my little Mill Hill ornament thing, Autumn Harvest. Oh, no, it's not called Autumn Harvest. That's the collection. It's called Pumpkin Trio. And I started this uh, for Laura, Stitching by the Shore, her pumpkin birthday sal. Did all that orange this week. So I was a little, I don't know, I was tired of the, the turquoise. So I think mill holes are kind of fun to just do something a little bit different working on the perforated paper. This is another mill hill, but this is done on fabric. This is Ashes, which is the second in the Alley Cats collection that I am doing. appropriate needle minder which is this little cat every every stitch you make every skein you take every strand you break I'll be watching you which to be honest is not totally accurate with baggy because he uh, he's not so interested in me stitching the only time he cares about whether I'm stitching or not is when he wants to be lying on my chest and the stitching's in the way then he cares and he wants me to knock it off but for the most part he doesn't care. So I got uh, some more done in the cat, did the tail, um, and started in the third corner section. So that one is definitely coming along. And my lighting is still, I don't, my ring light that I have there definitely isn't working so I'm gonna have to replace it or move stuff around but when I hold it up it, it's not bright it's back here is the correct color <laughs> which is still not as green as I thought it was by looking at the pictures um, the pictures in the these pictures are much appleier than the real fabric the real fabric is yellower yellower than the pictures on the cover the cover pictures um, I like the cover pictures green better than the fabric that came with it but I mean well, as long as they all match it doesn't matter and then the two that are left I've already done uh, Cole he's right there and the two that are left and cinder. So. Okay, next, my reel is for Get Me Nots. Flashed you guys the chart there, but I don't think you're gonna be able to like stitch from a flash. So this is stitched with the signature Riolis uh, acrylic and wool fibers. 
which um, it's so funny. Everybody who tries Riolis, you know, I mean, everybody's going to have an opinion on it. And some people really enjoy it. I really enjoy these fibers and some people hate them. So, you know, I mean, unless you have a wool allergy and cannot use them, if they will make your hands itch, then don't use them. But um, I think you should try it out. I like them. I mean, they're a single strand thing, so you have to double them. They're fuzzier than the cotton floss that we might be used to. Um, but I like the look that they give. Um, they actually, I think, look really great on this sort of rustic Ada that usually comes with the patterns. Now, not all Riolis kits have that. There are some that come with anchor floss, so you just need to make sure you look at the pattern or at the chart at the kit before you order. Um, but there are ones that come with anchor instead of these acrylic. So if you can't use the wool acrylic because you're allergic to wool, um, check it out because there are some that you could still order. Anyway, um, I'm getting fairly close to finish on this one. Um, I mean, just this, this quadrant is left. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much, there's some, there's some more stitching to do up here in this little cluster, but, um, I'm kind of like filling in as I go. So. So the next year. I'm going to have to decide because I'm going to get this one done. I'm going to have to decide what's the next real list that I want to do. I have so many to choose from because that was my Hanukkah gift to myself last year was I got a bunch of real list kits. And so now I have real list kits for the next, you know, 10 years. <laughs> that doesn't mean there's not more that I want. And then last but not least, um, I did work on my Glendon Place All Hallows Eve. Which is this fun chart. doing this on picture this plus jewel it's a I don't know if it's a 14 count or 16 count Ada it might be 14 actually because this is one of the first things I started so I probably started it on 14 count well, let me show you the full thing right now and then I worked on my little vampire some more Now his shirt, the white, the very white is glow in the dark. So I got some more done on him. Which is fun. Oh, my cat's upside down. All of the little motifs on this are like so cute. I mean, like I remember when I finished that witch, I was so thrilled with her. And then the little um, werewolf is adorable. I mean, all of it, really. Okay, so as I said, this is like one of my oldest projects. So I don't know if I'm going to push to a finish on this one or I'm just going to set it aside until next year. I don't know. I don't know. That is it. That is all of my my whips for this past week. Um, for a uh, stash enhancement, um, I had some um, credit, some Amazon credit. And so last year at Hanukkah, um, 
I had somebody send me kind of a, a care package, a Hanukkah package with little gifts to open every night, which was so fun. And one of the things that I got were little like acrylic floss drops. And I've never used those before. And I used them on one project and I really liked them. I liked the clackiness of them. I don't know. They were just, they were fun. Um, I use the floss cards for bigger projects, but if it has less than like 10 colors or whatever, then the floss drops are, are nice and I like putting them on the ring and everything. So um, I decided to get a set of those. Um, and of course I looked, cause there's so many different shapes and so many different, you know, styles. And I decided to go with this style. It was like under $10 for 30 of them. And I'm showing you how it comes out of the package. They're, they look frosted, but they're not really frosted because they have the protective film on them, which is nice. But I think when I take off the protective film, let's see, I took it off on one side. Is it on the other side too? Well, when you take off the protective film, they're clear. And then you guys can't see them as well. Um, but the thing that I liked about them, now I don't think they're going to have that nice clacky. Yeah, they're not going to have a nice clacky noise that the other, I don't know that these are acrylic really, or if they're just like plastic. Um, but I thought it was kind of cool that they did have like the big part and then a little um, part for like the, you know, the single threads or the, the shorter threads or whatever. So I did kind of like that. So I thought that'd be fun to try out for um, upcoming projects. Again, I'm not sure. Okay, here's one where we can peel off the protective coating. So it's clear, but it's a protective coating on both sides. That's not what I'm, I don't think so. I think it's just on the one side. Yeah. So, anyway, so that was my, my big purchase. So I am uh, looking forward to trying those out. Okay. Now plans. Um, I still all week I've been having this feeling that I want to start something, but I'm just I can't settle. I've been looking through magazines and looking through the kits I have. I think that's part of the problem is, is I kind of want to start something, but I don't feel like kidding something up. Um, but the kits that I have are not like what I feel like starting. So it's, I have this like dilemma. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to start something new. If I'm not going to start something new, I can't settle. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. I guess you'll see next week if I decide to start something new. I mean, I definitely don't need to start anything new. I have plenty of projects to choose from. Um, but you know, you get that itch every so often. And I know that I'm really not going to want to start anything new next month or the next two months because I will be on my push to a finish, which, um, is the other thing I need to start thinking about is really what is going to be on that list. What am I going to try to get a, finished in the, at the end of the year? Um, the last two years I've done that actually, it was, it was great. I, I did get a lot accomplished. And then the things that I stopped working on because I was working on the push to the finish things, I had time to miss them and want to go back to them and be really going ho about them when I did start again in January. Um, I know like the things I've showed you today, forget me nots, definitely I want to get done. Um, the sampler of Shaw, which has a good chunk, but I think if it's focused on, I could get that one done. Um, I still have my lion, um, that I started in August, but I didn't really work on it. Uh, outside of August. This is a Cooler Designs lion that I'm doing on some perforated paper. Um, so I have him to finish. Um, I do want to get that done. Um, let's see what else off the top of my head. Um, 
possibly the little pumpkin tree ornament. Um, ashes. I definitely want to get ashes done. Um, yeah, so then I'm going to have to look in my list and see what other things are at a point um, that I think I can finish. Uh, my mermaid, um, Black Pearl, I think I wanted to try and get her done at the end of the year. Um, yeah, so that's, I have to look through and, and see, see what I have that I think that I could get done. The frog uh, bouquet. Um, I did the frog dancer last year and I don't know why that one seemed to go a lot faster than this one. I don't know if it's just, I don't know why. Um, stitching doesn't always make sense. Um, but yeah, I, I think I want to put her on, um, that push to a finish as well. Um, and then who knows, uh, I do have a couple Hanukkah patterns that maybe I'll start in December or something just for Hanukkah and just work on it during Hanukkah and then put it away until next year. Um, cause I don't think that's something that I'm going to want to work on, you know, all throughout the year, but, but it might be fun to have something cause I did that for two years, um, for this one, um, to get that done. And I finished this last year right before Hanukkah, I had started it the Hanukkah before. So it was something that I could get done and display during Vlasnica. So that might be something to start, but not right now. That's not, I, I have like Halloween stuff in head, in my mind that I want to start now. Um, something cat-y or Halloween-y or something like that. Uh, not that I don't have a thousand cat projects already, but, um, so yeah, so that's what I'm gonna have to think about is what I wanna put on my push to a finish. And then, um, yeah, and then the rest of the week is gonna be, you know, stitching on the same stuff um, that you've seen this month. Um, maybe go back and do a little bit more on the ladies because I didn't really work on them this week at all. Oh, that's not when Zinnia, I think I might try and get her done at the end of the year. Um, then my snack cake video this, today if I get a chance to do that and yeah and I think that that's it and then gosh next week is going to be the last video of October because it will be November on Wednesday um boy we're rushing to the end of the year aren't we so anyway I hope that you guys uh are having a wonderful week and have a wonderful week going forward um I hope that your weather's nice it's so it's like bright and sunny but not hot right now outside which is really nice um I hope it stays that way I really do um I like it actually when it's rainy when it's gray and rainy I actually like that kind of weather but I don't mind the bright sun and the bright sky as long as it just doesn't get too hot that's that's the thing that kills me is the heat um, so, so knock wood, it stays nice and cool and my body adjusts and so that I'm not, uh, <laughs> my knees aren't crying every time I try and stand up. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and until I see you again, please remember to be content, be kind and be crafty. This is Carla. Bye-bye.